OK. So now what I'm asking you guys to do is to complete the square to write the equation in conic form, then identify the vertex focus and directrix. Now, this is just like what we did previously, not the complete square part, but before that, right? But the problem was those were in kind of conic forms. We just kind of had to arrange them a little bit. But they were in conic section form, whereas these equations don't really look anything like conic sections form. Um, what we're going to have to do is now complete the square to get into that format. So again, just like I did in, that for in the last time I taught, I said, guys, write the equation that's supposed to look like. y is squared, so I wrote the y squared equation. Right? If x was squared, I would have wrote the x squared equation. The really, the big difference between the x and the y squared is remember, y is always with k, and x is always with h. So you just got to remember that. All right. Now, notice, do you guys see how the y's are on one side, the x's are on the other side? Right? So what I'm going to do then is get the y's on one side and the x's and whatever that 4p number is on the other side. So I'll subtract an 8x. So I have y squared minus 8y equals negative 8x minus 16. Does everybody see that? All right, so now, this is not a binomial squared. That is a binomial squared. I need to make that a binomial squared, right? So to do that, we use completing the square. If you guys think about this, that's ax squared plus bx. Actually, let's do this in red. Do you guys see how that's a quadratic and I have a and b? right? So if I have my b, I can find the value c that completes the square. So I just take a negative 8 divided by 2 and square it. Now, I can't complete the square on the right side because x is linear, not quadratic. Does that make sense? So I can only complete the square here. So negative 8 divided by 2 is negative 4. Negative 4 squared is 16. Now. This is where sometimes students get confused. Remember when we were completing the square for these, for quadratics? I added and subtracted on the same side, right? Well, in this case, I don't want anything on the left side except for that binomial squared. So if I add 16 inside of here, I don't want to subtract 16 on this side. I want to put the 16 on the other side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a 16 on the left side and I'm going to add a 16 on the right side. Because adding and subtracting on the same side is equivalent to adding and on both sides. Right? I still kept the equation the same. It's still balanced. Then I created a perfect square trinomial, which can be factored to a binomial squared. What two numbers multiply to give you 16 add, multi add to give you negative 8? And that goes to 0. Right? So in red, oops, that's x. Now, I can't factor anything else out on here. So you could say, you could say that's minus 0 if you wanted to. So therefore, um, my vertex is 0, 4. p, negative 8, is equal to 4p, divided by 4, divided by 4. p equals negative 2. Now again. People get confused. So again, sketch a graph. When you guys are taking your quiz, you have a huge piece of paper. Sketch a graph. i got to rush in here. Vertex is 0, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. The graph, y squared, so it opens left to right. p is negative, so it's going to open up to the left. So if here's 0, 4, if I go to the left 2, that means my focus is at negative 2, 4. And my directrix is a vertical line over 2 which is x equals 2. Okay. Get that done. You guys have